What's going on, guys? I am True Racer, and this is a little, a uh, little something different. Uh, this, this year, I want to kind of get back into racing, uh, the real world stuff. Last year, I kind of fell out of it because I dropped my cable, and I was always, uh, I always just TiVo'd the races and watched them at my, at will. Uh, but I kind of fell out of it because I didn't have cable and I, didn't, I wasn't able to do that. But this year, I want to kind of get back into it, and I want to get, get back into it with all you guys and everybody else. So this is. If you didn't know, this weekend is the Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona. So I figured let's get a little a little pre-show, and then we'll have a little reward too. I'm gonna have at the end we'll kind of pick who we think is gonna win, uh, and if there's anybody, or if there's any one person that uh, picks all the right winners in every class, I'll I'll send you a pretty cool shirt, either this one or one of the other ones I have. But nevertheless, let's uh let's get right into it and take a look at what's coming up this weekend. got you a little excited for the race coming up here. I'm going to keep this kind of short and sweet because I want to get this video out to you guys so you can get your submissions in of who you think is going to win before qualifying tomorrow, which starts at 2 p.m. Eastern or 11 a.m. for us California folks. Okay, uh, some things to look out for that seem pretty awesome are, one, the Glow in the Dark BMW, the 100th uh, anniversary BMW's got this cool reflective paint. It's, it looks pretty badass. Um, another thing, the 4 GT, the new 4 GT. If you haven't seen this thing already, then you probably, probably have been living under a rock. That thing just looks absolutely gorgeous, and I'll be rooting for that one too. Uh, the Delta Wing is always something to look out for, especially this year. They're, they're supporting a very, uh, or they're, they're showing off a very patriotic paint job. They are, they are screaming the red, white, and blue. Hopefully, uh... We can see some good results out of them. I don't know. Uh, I always like seeing a little difference in the uh, in the races. And uh, last but not least, we'll, let's see if we can find uh, Sergio Perez. Okay, he's he's slated to drive. He's slated to drive the 007 Aston Martin, but uh, I can't, I don't foresee him actually driving. So we'll we'll see if he actually makes an appearance. I doubt it'll be in the car. I think they just more or less did that for sponsorships. But nevertheless, it should be. Uh, it should be incredibly exciting. Also, if you guys missed it, uh, the Magnus intro video was absolutely incredible. Their little uh, Lego intro thing it was absolutely awesome. I shared it earlier. I'll put another link to that in the description below, guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, as far as the rewards go, that we're that uh, or the the shirt giveaway, I guess we'll do. We'll try and uh, if anybody can guess the leaders or the winners of each class. Uh, then you will be you'll be get you'll get a shirt, okay? Only uh, to a limit of of the first person. If if, there, if there's like ten people that gets the right answer, it's whoever says it first gets it. And you have to also have your submission in before qualifying. I don't want anybody putting their their submissions in after qualifying when they know who's on pole and whatnot. It has to be in before qualifying, which is two o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Uh, we need a winner for. The prototype class, the PC class, the GTLM, and the GTD classes, okay? It's going to be pretty hard for the GTD class because there is 22 drivers in that class. So pick wisely. Pick wisely. I'd go with the Magnus. That's what I'm going with. Um, other than that, let me uh, give you a quick rundown of my prediction. My predictions are going to be as follows, okay? And I'll put a, I'll put a link to the spotter guide so you guys can uh, pick and choose there for as well. Um, for the prototype class, I gotta go with the the Taylor brothers. I love those guys. They're pretty uh, they're pretty awesome. So for for a prototype class, I'm going with the number ten of Kanoka Molta Corvette Wayne Taylor Racing. For the prototype class, which I don't or the the PC class, I don't follow too much, and I don't really know very many of these drivers. So I'm gonna go with a random guess of the team with all American drivers in it. Uh, with the 38 of Performance Tech Motorsports, this one over here, uh, now it starts to get a little difficult, okay? In the GTLM class, okay, it's like 
Go with the glow-in-the-dark BMW, the incredibly new and awesome 4 GT, or the always faithful and reliable Corvette. Okay, um, I want to be American and go with American, but I, I just got to go with the, uh, the glow-in-the-dark BMW. I just, you know, that, to me, it's just really cool looking, and, uh, I don't know, I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm counting on their 100th, uh, uh, race, or were their 100 years here. And then for the, the last one, which is probably the, it, it's hard in essence because the Dodge Viper is my favorite car, right? And all the way up until this morning, it was going to be the Dodge Viper all the way up until I watched the Magnus Racing intro and they have made me complete and awesome fans. So I'm going to go with Magnus Racing with the number 44. So for me, it's number 44, 100, 38, and the number 10. Those are my predictions. Let me know what your predictions are, guys. Um, other than that, there is, oh, I have a couple of questions, right? Some things I, I just don't know. I, and I, it's just, maybe you guys don't know them either, but why does, what was it at? Um, why, why does BMW use the M6 in, in this series? Why not use their, their 1M or M, or their M3 or not the M3 anymore, but the M4 or something like that, or the M2. I, I always wondered why, you know, why use the big heavy car when they can use the other ones? You know, I thought maybe they would use the the smaller, more compact cars in the in the feeder series, but no, they they just run the 328i down here, which they don't even run the uh, the M cars down here. So I don't know, I don't know why they use the M6s. I would think they would want to run the their more uh, most popular car, but hey, you know, I don't, I don't. I don't know. Other question was, um, where was it? Oh, the the Visit Florida car. Okay, who pays for the sponsorship of Visit Florida? And is the state of Florida paying for sponsorship for Visit Florida, or is that just like the uh, hotel uh, oligarchies or however you say that word that pays for the Visit Florida hotel? I've I've always wondered that. I I can't imagine it's the state paying for the sponsorship. It's got to be people there that are going to profit off of that but i don't know beats me uh anyway guys thank you so much for watching let let me know what your predictions are going to be and hopefully we can do some uh rewards and give some stuff out but uh that is going to be it guys thank you so much for watching this one hopefully we can kind of continue this in the future uh this year i'm going to try and watch uh imsa formula one moto gp v8 supercars and maybe dabble a little bit in the NASCAR. We'll start with the big races in NASCAR. Maybe we'll get into it a little bit more. It's just, it's just painstakingly difficult for me to get behind it. But I know if I can get behind a couple drivers, it'll be a little easier. That's what we'll try and do. Anyway, guys, hope you can join us in this adventure. Nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay true and race on.